Ken, again, I came back from Syria in 2014, about October 14th. And October the 20th, my secretary rang up and said, David, uh, the Queen wants to have lunch with you. <laughs> I said, really? He said, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so then one day on the 20th of October, um, I remember going to um, Buckingham Palace and uh, <laughs> the red carpet was there. And I walked into uh, this room and I was there with about four or five other people. All of a sudden, then the Queen walked in with uh, Prince Philip. And I was like stunned, really. But then, not only that, I was really stunned because I, a week or so before that, I was in the midst of the worst environment I'd ever been in and the worst stress that I'd ever been in. And the, the, I was, you know, bordering the psychotic. And um, I remember standing there and then looking at the place names and my name was next to the Queen. I thought, oh, my God. And then we walked into this sort of dining room area and the Queen was um, sitting on my right and I didn't know what was going on. Apparently, the, has anybody ever had lunch with the Queen? <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is that she speaks to the person on her right for half the meal and then the other half, she turns and speaks to you. And, um, and I was getting more stressed and more stressed and my heart, I was like, tachycardic and I could feel my carotids going like this. And, and then all of a sudden, she did turn around to me, and she said to me, and uh, David, is it? I went, yes, your majesty. And she said, uh, and where have you just come from? And of course, I fancied just saying, well, Hammersmith, actually. But, <laughs> but I, I said, well, actually, I've just come back from uh, Aleppo. And, and she said, and, and what was that like? And I, I, I started, I couldn't start, I couldn't say anything. And, uh, she, and she looked at me, and I thought, well, I'm going to just I'm gonna start going. So that my bottom lip started to go. I could think, I, I, I'm going to start crying. I can't cope with this. And I need to get out. I need to just go. And so I could, my bottom lip started to go, and she sort of looked at me again, and she just put a hand on my hand. And then said, um, and she turned around to the courtiers and said to the courtiers, she whispered something in their ear, and all of a sudden, these six corgis ran into the room. <laughs> and they ran all the way around the, the room, and they were barking and shouting and things. And then two, of them went under, two, two or three of them went under her legs. And so she started um, talking about the dogs, and I was saying, well, that's... You know, so I started feeling, I love dogs, and I said, do you like dogs? Yes, I, I like dogs a lot. And started talking about the dogs and petting the dogs. And then all of a sudden, she turned around to one of the courtiers and said that there was, a, there was this sort of silver thing in front of her. And she pointed to it and, and undid this courtier, undid this silver thing. And there was a biscuit inside. So she picked up the biscuit and she sort of broke it in two and gave me half the biscuit. And I thought, well, do I eat it? <laughs> so, 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 and she said, no, no, they're for the dogs. <laughs> And so then for the next 20 minutes or so, we just fed the dogs and started paying the dogs. And, and, that, and the cheese board came, cheese board went, the ice cream came, the ice cream went, the coffee. And then at the end of it, um, she turned around to me and said, well, that's much better than talking, isn't it? That's <laughs>